Hello and welcome to today's lesson on the English concertina. Uh, we're playing a tune called John's Polka today. We're in the key of D major, so we've got a couple of sharps to think about. We've got an F sharp and a C sharp, they're both on the right hand side. Uh, the A part starts with this octave D, low D, high D. And then the C sharp on the right hand side, back to the D. Um, I start with the bellows almost closed and I play the first two bars pulling out. Now I'm going to talk about the, um, the correct time to change direction today a bit. So the first two bars Okay, at that point the bellows have come out quite a long way that's a good uh, time to change direction so if you've pulled out start, start pushing in here So on that second bar, nice flowing bar there, A, B, A, G, F sharp, G, A, G, F sharp, E. Let's get the bellows to about where they would be for that bit. Okay, going in again. As I say, as you repeat, start going out when you play the F sharp and the E. And the timing there is one and a two and three, four a one, so very sort of bouncy feel there. So as it starts to go back out uh, and restart the A part, now this time, uh, the second time ending, it is D and E on the end. But the timing is four and, not not four, uh, not bouncy, it's dead straight. So that D E leads into the B part, page two. I should explain that page one and page two are, are both on the same page. It's sort of strip two, if you like, if that helps. Uh, so you've got a D and an E going up. Then you have. So the B part starts with three F sharps on the right hand side. And E on the left, back to the F sharp, and then you've got G, G, G going up to B. And then the second bar is the same as the second bar of the A part. Uh, start to push the bellows in there. Third bar, same as the first bar, so it's quite uniform because the third bar was the same as the first bar in the first part. And then first time ending. And very similar to the other, the other part, isn't it? So you have... Four and, so one and a two and three, four and. So you repeat from the beginning of the B part. But this time we do the second time ending. And that second time ending ends on the D notes as a nice place to finish. So it's getting the direction of the bellows. That's the thing we're trying to do today. So all of that is pulling out. Now start to push in again. At that point, you're going to uh, do two notes and repeat from the beginning. So start to pull out. Push in at that point. And then just before you go into the B part, start to pull out. Push in again. Pull out as you repeat the B part. Start to push in again. Now it's not an even amount for the, the pulling and the pushing. Sometimes you might find your bellows 
a little bit stretched out and obviously depending on how many folds you've got. This Marcus Constantino has got seven folds to the bellows which is really great for this kind of playing. If you find uh, that you're running out of air then you might need to change you know, every bar rather than every two bars as I am. But you know, pick your point uh, of change carefully because that is the, the secret to good playing. Uh, if you change in an awkward place it will certainly sound and you definitely don't want that. So that is the end of today's lesson and I hope you enjoyed it.